Good morning, folks. Today we're going to see what a difference four weeks makes in the projected record-breaking Earth rotation changes ongoing now. We've got a lot of science between here and there, though, and we're starting at our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun were calm. The coronal holes on the south are not only setting a seismic watch, but will amplify the solar wind soon, possibly today. Solar flares are silent. X-ray production has hit the floor as the southern sunspots turn the western limb onto the far side of the sun. Couple smaller spots on the north, nothing incoming at the moment. A peek at the solar wind shows all quiet in geospace and the magnetic field. Any enhancement from those coronal holes will be easily picked out in the telemetry. Now before moving on, if you follow this on Facebook, it's not me. It's a fraud page pushing crypto stuff. About 30,000 people there think it's me, but our Facebook page can be found at the link in the description section below this video. My apologies, I'm just sick of this turkey and Facebook doesn't seem to care. Wild set of storms across the Southwest Pacific, Australia, and Indonesia here on the infrared return of Himawari. The strongest systems are pounding the eastern stretch. Meanwhile, you'd never know it in the middle of the snowstorm pounding the eastern United States, but that system contains all four seasons, summer like lightning drilling the offshore convergence line. On January 29th, we showed that about half the top electroquake scientists, the professors, NASA scientists, and authors of the AGU's textbook on pre-seismic signals were getting together on a paper. As you may have guessed, this is pretty much the other half of that top list. As with the first half, they are looking at the lithosphere-atmosphere-ionosphere coupling model, which is of course the electroquake, the pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals. It's not only mainstream now, it's surging. Up next, I don't think this mirror world cosmology is the right one, but in the fact that it replaces magic, dark matter, with normal matter, with baryons, it sits a straw or two above the cacophony of nonsense we have in cosmology today. Yes, scientists thinking outside of the dark matter box, we are watching. Golf clap. Hard not to watch this, hard to take your eyes off the new TNG50 products from Illustris. Even though it remains a fully dark matter inclusive model, it is by far the best looking cosmological simulation available to the public. You can learn more at the TNG link in your list today below the video, and if you saw the previous iterations you'll notice not only incredibly more detail, but a number of new reference frames and data visualizations not included in the previous ones. It may be prettier, but I can already tell just watching it who got the same bias and errors from previous models that conflict with observations, and Dusty Plasma is still letting phantoms take the blame for its actions. Now folks, we have been discussing much recently on the Earth's rotation glitches, the length of a day, and how they are minor versions of the big unlocking of the low velocity zone every 12,000 years, which allows the Earth to turn over. Today, we go back to a story from January 8th, when we learned that the record fastest day, the fastest Earth had ever spun around once on record, was broken 28 times in 2020. 28 times. The world is speeding up, and if you will recall, they had predicted the fastest day of 2021 to be in July, with nearly 2 milliseconds of speed up. They expected us to end up 2021 about 24 milliseconds fast. 2020 was the first year on record Earth wasn't sluggish, spinning slightly slower than perfect 24-hour days. 2020 was faster by a whopping 1.28 milliseconds in total. Well, it's been four weeks, not even a full month since that January 8th morning news and the predictions have changed. Interestingly, while their predicted fastest spin, the shortest day of 2021, is now projected for August and not quite as fast as the previous predicted fastest day, as a whole, the year actually is predicted to be faster. Now they expect more than double the millisecond deficit as we saw predicted at the start of the year, with a daily average of again, more than double the previously predicted daily spin speed millisecond deficit. By the way, if correct, not only will we have the fastest year on record, but it will have one of the biggest jumps of any year to year on record. Faster and faster until you can't grip the road anymore, if you catch my meaning. To learn more, Click the channel name to go to the Observer's homepage on YouTube. Our playlists make it easy to catch up on everything we discuss, all in one place. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn about the future home of the community at ObserverRanch.com. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.